Yeah, yeah. Right. reminds me of Steve Martin, maybe. I dig making this stuff up. This is it's gonna be a big, big hit. <laughs> That's great. Man. Hey, hello everybody. This is Ken Huss coming from the Circle R Ranch. I have sitting with me. Mr. Andy Martin. Hello. Reverb, and we are super proud to have him here in sunny, beautiful Toledo, Ohio, of course. And uh, interestingly, we are holding twin black Air Sonic W guitars. Uh, you know, there's a couple of things that Joe's done. Well, let, let's be serious. Everything that Joe does is amazing. He's the guy. Um, Joe nailed it. Oh, as some people refer to him. <laughs> <laughs> people that come here and go like this. Uh, <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> You're right. I think I'm going to be fine. All right. Uh, Mr. Joe uh, came up with uh, the Club King model, as we discussed in another video down there or there up here somewhere. It's somewhere right around us. Uh, what a unique design that was. And it came from Joe's wanting to fix something that he felt was lacking in small, thin line style guitars. Um, the Air Sonic comes from a similar place. Uh, we had incorporated the, the raised center ridge uh, into our Warhawk style guitars many years ago uh, when we did those as bolt-ons and setbacks, still do. Um, and then it came back up again with the Billy Corgan model. And the Billy Corgan model it was, not only does it have the raised center ridge, um, which puts a lot of mass underneath of the bridge and around the pickups. So you get this initial attack and sustain of having that big solid block of wood under there. But um, by having the wings be a little thinner, they start to resonate very freely yeah. and they alter the tone of the instrument. And with the Corgan, we have these segmented pickguard things going on um, that are chambered underneath <clears throat> for weed. And uh, I mean, for sound and they sound amazing and so as he started getting familiar with the concept of that he started thinking about taking it to the extreme and that is where this comes from we made the wings even thinner and larger and then uh, combined with the routing that is done for the controls in the wings we also punched these f holes straight through the guitar uh, to help them to resonate even more freely. And what Joe is trying to accomplish here is tonal properties of a semi-hollow in a completely solid body guitar that is gonna have zero feedback issues. Yeah. At, well, I mean, you know, when this thing is dimed, everything <laughs> feeds back. But you know what I'm saying, um, there, with absolutely none of the feedback problems that come along with a semi-hollow instrument, yet allowing it to get those tones and those chimey tones. And this is an incredibly versatile guitar um, but the thing is, when you sit and play it and you strum a chord on it, you, you can feel it. Yeah. You can feel the body just like, it's, it's unbelievable. And, and, and another thing that we do here at Reverend that I don't that I always talk about when I'm talking about with this guitar, but we very, very purposely put a very thin coat of paint on all the instruments. Oh, okay. We could make perfect guitars that were just like mirror glass images yeah and how you accomplish that is you put on a quarter inch of sealer and then you sand it perfectly flat yeah and then you put on your color coat and and then you put on a quarter inch of clear coat and you sand it perfectly flat but when you're done with all of that you have added eight to ten ounces to the weight of the guitar because absolutely this stuff it's polyurethane it, it has i mean lacquer has weight to it yeah pick up a quart yeah yeah um so you've got that the additional weight, but then you've also sealed in all the wood. And and so by purposely putting a very thin layer of sealer on it, a lot of times when you put the color coat on, you can see the grain of the Karina even through uh, a finish that's, uh, you know, that's like a solid finish like this black. If you look at it in the light, you can sort of see the little grain things hmm. going through. And then the clear coat is also thin, and so you, which allows for that. So sometimes we get little imperfections in the finish minor things you know not whatever uh but what we're getting for that is a crazy resonant guitar yeah no it and resonates. that's more important yeah that's the thing i've noticed and so where is it chambered exactly i mean is the oh, whole just, all... just underneath of the just where the pickup okay i got gotcha. you and the control cavity so so it's it's you know it's obviously hollow inside where the where the volume and the tone and the um 
uh, the three-way switch and the base contour are, these are little hollow cavities that come all the way through. And then, of course, the f holes where they're punched through. But the rest of the guitar is completely solid. It is solid. Okay. Yep. Absolutely. Interesting. And um, and it, it rips. These are rail hammer pickups. This is a Nuevo 90 in the neck and the Huevos 90 in the bridge, <laughs> which is um, which is the hot one, the hot P90. Uh, uh, we did a, a model for Rick Vito many years ago. I think I yep. showed you with all the crazy graphics on the old semi Oh lines. yeah. And that had. The hottest P90s I've ever seen in production kind of guitar, the P90s that throw 16, 17 K. Whoa. Um, yeah, they're rad. <laughs> and they, there's this compression thing that happens with them. Yeah. They're totally cool. This pickup does that. This Suevos 90 pickup is a really, really high output version of the Railhammer hum cutter. And there's information on all those Railhammers, of course, over at the Railhammer YouTube page, where you can see us demoing many of these things. But let's talk about that open sound. Uh, Andy, what do you say we go to the next pickup? Let's do it. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me get clean here. Oh. Yeah. Let's get clean. <laughs> There's a little Andy. Hey, and here's both. I'm going to do the same thing. That was cool. You ready? And then that spank of the bridge. gentlemen the reverend air sonic w with the wilkinson trem and the real hammer pickups and i'm ken and this is andy thanks for tuning in more Thank to you. come